Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We are in the process of designing a one page website and uh, we have already designed the header section. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you can watch it. I will leave the link of the playlist in the description below. Alright, in this video, I'll show you how to animate the elements in our header section so that it looks like the elements are building up. So let's get started. <laughs> This is our CSS. Now let's go ahead and create a comment and we'll just type animation and uh, let's start with the animation. The first thing we'll do is uh, we'll animate this navigation bar and uh, we'll bring it from the top. That's the first thing we'll animate. So let's go ahead and target the desktop now class. And for adding an animation, you have to type animation and then type the name of the animation. So we'll just name the animation fade down and we haven't created it yet, but we'll just type the name and then we can type the duration of the animation. So we'll just set it to 1000 milliseconds and in the beginning, the opacity will be zero and then we'll animate it to have the opacity of one. So to create an animation called fade down, we have to type at keyframes and then type the name. So we'll just type fade down and here we can type percentages. So we can type 0% and what should happen at 0% and then 75%, 78%, whatever you want. Now for 0%, you can even type from and it is considered as 0. And then we can type 2 for 100%. So for the from, we will set the opacity to 0. So at the beginning, the opacity will be 0. And we will move it a little upward. So we'll just type transform. And then we can type translate y and then set the value to say minus 20 pixels. And inside 2 we can just type opacity of 1 and transform to translate y 0. All right, that's really the animation of the desktop now. Let's go ahead and see whether it works. So at the beginning we don't have any animation and when we reload this page, we can see that the animation is happening. But right after the animation ends, we can see that it goes back to the initial state. So for that, we can add a new value over here called forwards. So it stays at the end position. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. And we can see that the animation is working all right. Now the next thing we'll animate is this paragraph right here. So let's go ahead and uh, here we will type hero container left P and we'll create an animation and we'll name it fade in and we'll set the duration to 800 milliseconds and we'll set this also to forwards and in the beginning we'll set the opacity to zero all right so let's go ahead and create the fade in animation so we'll type at keyframes fade in and we can see that by default opacity is zero. So we can directly type two and set the opacity to one. So it will start from opacity zero to opacity one. So let's go ahead and test it out. We can see that the animation is working all right. Now we want this animation to happen a little late after the desktop nav animation. So we can set an animation delay to our uh, paragraph so he will just type animation delay and we'll set the animation delay to 400 milliseconds so now let's go ahead and refresh our page and we can see that the animation is working perfectly now let's set the animation for this heading so let's go ahead and type hero container left h1 and we'll create an animation with the name of fade to right and we'll set the duration to 800 milliseconds and forwards. Now you can even set a transition curve to the animation so that it will behave in a certain way. So if you set the transition curve to linear, then it will start with the same speed and end with the same speed. We can mess around with the speed and create our own values. So for that, I've just created a cubic Bezier function. So I'll just type cubic Bezier. And in here, I have just found the values of 0 0.22, 0 0.32, 0, 
and uh, 1.54 and for this also we'll just set the opacity to 0 and we'll set the animation delay to 800 milliseconds right so let's create the fade to right animation keyframes fade to right from opacity 0 we will fade it from the left so we'll just type transform translate x and we'll set it to negative 100 pixels and we'll just copy this and paste it over here we'll just change this to 2 and set the opacity to 1 set the translate value to 0 alright so let's go ahead and test the animation let's refresh our page and we can see that the animation is working all right if you're confused about the cubic bezier function you can just go ahead and right click over here in chrome and click on inspect and uh, if you go over here and uh, scroll down to the styles we can see this button here called open cubic bezier editor you can just go ahead and click on that button and here you can find a visual representation of the cubic bezier function so you can just go ahead and play with these values and once you like it you can just go ahead and copy this line of code to your CSS so this is how you can edit the cubic bezier function now for these two buttons we will have the fade in animation that we had given to the paragraph so we'll just reuse that animation so let's go ahead and uh, type hero container left and uh, btn we will have different animation delays for different buttons so for that we'll just select the first button by typing colon nth of type 1 this will select the first button and we'll set the animation to fade in which we have already created if you scroll up we can see that this is the fade in animation so we can just use that directly over here and uh, we'll set the duration to 1000 milliseconds and forwards we'll set the opacity to 0 and animation delay to 1400 milliseconds now I'll just copy this uh, for the second button and uh, here we will type 2 and everything will be same except the animation delay the animation delay will be set to 1600 milliseconds alright that's it with the animation of the buttons let's go ahead and refresh our page and we can see that everything is working alright now let's animate this uh, image right here on the right so here we'll just type hero container right and we'll create an animation named fade to left and we'll set the duration to 1200 milliseconds and forwards we'll set the opacity to 0 initially and uh, animation delay to 900 milliseconds alright let's create the animation keyframes fade to left opacity 0 which is already written over here transform translate x and we'll set the transform to 30 pixels and then for 2 we will type opacity 1 and transform translate x of 0 all right so let's see whether it works all right and we can see all the animations are working all right the last animation we are going to add is for the polygons we will add an animation where it will rotate infinitely so let's go ahead and add that we'll target all the polygons so we'll type hero container polygon comma hero container polygon 2 comma hero container polygon 3 and I will set the opacity to 0 and one more thing you need to remember over here is that you need to add two animations for these polygons the first one is for the fade in animation where it will appear and then the second animation for the rotation so the first animation that is the fade in animation will run for one time and then the rotate animation will run infinitely so for that you have to type animation name and uh, we have to type two values over here the first one is fade in which is the first animation and the second animation that we're going to create is called rotate right for the first animation we will have a duration of 800 milliseconds 
and for the second animation we'll have a duration of 80 seconds and uh, the animation delay for both the animations will be 1800 milliseconds and then we can have the animation iteration count it will determine how many times the animation will run so we'll type animation iteration count the first animation fade in will run one time and rotate animation will run infinitely and I will set the animation fill mode it will be forwards this is just a detailed version of what we wrote over here in one line all right lastly we have the animation timing function for the first one we will set it to ease in and for the second one we will set it to linear all right now the fade in animation has already been uh, created so let's create the rotate animation so we'll type at keyframes rotate and we'll type from transform rotate 360 degrees to transform rotate 0 degrees so that's it with the animation of the polygons let's go ahead and test it out Alright, so that's basically how you create animations for the elements in our header section. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.